Hello, I thought it might be useful to take you on a virtual site visit, if you like, of exactly the area that the residence petition and my proposition seeks to protect. If my calculations are right, it's about 1,000 square metres of grass and trees. The clever thing is, it slopes up to hide all the cars from the Lacollette Low Rise Flats. That's part of the genius of the Taylor Leapingwell landscaping. It's what helped give it its listing and its first layer of protection. That and the sense that we go lower and broader along with the buildings as we go down to the sea and the end of the Mont de la Ville. But all that topographical coherence, that whole strip, that whole rectangle, and it couldn't be more clearly defined, will be lost under five stories of apartment building under these plans. And it does seem to me, standing up here, that there is plenty of scope for doing whatever but leaving that alone. And contrary to the Minister's rather disrespectful and haughty, I thought, uh, comments which you may have read, this is not about asking the Assembly to determine a planning application on the floor of the House. This is saying to the Assembly, look, Andium Homes are seeking outline planning permission for this site. Can I have your help in drawing that outline? Can I ask you to consider that in 2011 you double protected this open green space. Now, the minister, the previous minister, unilaterally has decided to do away with that protection. I'm simply asking, do you think that is right or do you think that is wrong? After my proposition was lodged, Andium apparently subjected the beleaguered residents of La Collette to a questionnaire. And the first question was, do you use the green space? That is to spectacularly miss the point. I mean, if you breathe oxygen, you use this space. And anyway, what do they mean by use? The island plan specifically protects areas like this. They don't have to have a football pitch on them. They just have to be there. That is the point. And an interior courtyard, let's nail this myth once and for all, an interior green courtyard with a few trees on it, in no way adequately compensates for the loss of this. For the loss of this. For starters, who's going to see it? The neighbours won't. And one more point. Let's consider those neighbours. This is Clos de Par, directly opposite. And this protected green space forms a kind of barrier between them and the La Collette Low Rise. That's all to go. And where there are leaves and trees and green, there will now be a hundred windows looking down directly into their balconies and bathrooms and bedrooms. This view of Elizabeth Castle could hitherto only be viewed by those at sea, because, as you probably guessed, I'm standing on the reclaimed land at La Collette. And who gets the benefit of this magnificent view? Rows of windowless warehouses and surface lorry parks and car parks. And of course, they've got to go somewhere, I accept that, although the cars should really be going underground. But is that it for La Collette? Is that it? Should we not now be trying to address the challenges post Bunsfield and get a mix down here, get a community down here, some houses down here. If we continue to operate as though La Collette doesn't exist, we will continue to cram too many people into too small a space, to despoil areas like Half Day Park, to build on protected open space, the kind of open space I'm trying to protect. I hope that's helpful. I think I've missed my ferry.